Hey guys, welcome to Kung Po Kung Po shitting all over my level 90 base. As you can see, just as you can see, my base is pretty much fully refitted with all um, Atomic Driver 3 and 4s. Only one that wasn't there because that was getting refit at the time, or two there which were getting refit at the time. One was getting upgraded and one was getting refitted. So pretty much all of it is all atomics uh, with some plasma and and some xeno. So he decides to come in with two ships. This one is a a blight horde Valran Valray uh, with level mark mark six. And this one is a Xeno and Meta Horde uh, Ajax, obviously Mark VI as well. So let's see what he does to my base. And he comes in. This is going to. This is actually his preparation. So oh, I'm 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 actually giving him some some minor damage here on on the prep, but still he can still position himself so he can actually just sit there and strafe due to the distance and whatnot and he's just not even really giving a shit about getting hit he's still ducking and weaving um, but yes it's definitely the Ajax is definitely helping him absorb whatever hits do actually land um, I've noticed that we don't seem to be applying any DOT with the atomic driver which would be a nice addition for it, but as you can see, he has basically got me down to 80%, um, and he's taken out one, two, three, four, five, six uh, of my 20 turrets. So that was round one on the prep. He did cop a bit of damage there, down to 70%. Okay, now it's time to watch. His second run, he did coin repair him, and he's come in with the same ships again. I'm at 79%, he's back to 100%. And let's see him just waltz in here again. And he does the same, basically the same tactic again. Um, and this time he just literally sits there, ducks and weaves. A lot of the shots do miss as such. Um, and yeah, he's not he's sitting outside the range of that mine. I'm going to speed it up just a little bit because, as you can see, he's basically pummeling the crap out of it. Now, I'm just going to pause it there for a second because he's about he's doing his little switcheroo here. Now, so you can see at the moment, I've lost another CM there, lost that CM there. Lost at least two wing, or two hangers there. Lost my ship bay there, which is more drones that are getting wiped out. So as you can see, he's lost probably about half of his um, Val there. He hasn't even. He's actually almost sitting. He's, this Ajax is actually sitting virtually on that mine. I'm not sure what level it is. It's either a six or an eight or a ten, somewhere like that. So let's have a look and see what happens. So even there, he's virtually he was he was hugging the edge of it. Um, so he's basically squeezed both ships in through that gap and just sits there. And he pushes the Ajax in the front to just basically sit there as the tank. Absolutely no need to move that around. And he's just pummeling away at everything whilst he's just about to detonate my bridge. There goes the bridge, and now he just still just pummels away i've now lost probably at least half of my base yep and you now it's just a matter of is he using the ajax to tank now i'm not i'm not criticizing um kung po he does a great job on this and i'm taking my hat off to him but it just shows the imbalance of um bases who upgraded or finished off stuff uh, two years ago are now being penalized heavily um, on this because so that's basically that's all my stuff done he's basically he's basically going to 100% me here
we're going to watch today's attack. Now I've changed my layout around just a little bit and as you can see there are I've changed a few things around I've got some more I've got a bit of blight I've got a bit of this all my weapons are now all ADs but this time he does slightly different he doesn't worry about the prepping this time he just comes in with basically his Ajax was lead he's leading the front and just tanking the crap out of it even with the ablative recovery there and the shield regen there he's just laughing all the way to the bank with this um, with this see so he just sits there literally just sits there with his with his um, Ajax just right in front says fuck you I don't care um, and just tanks the damage on the Ajax so therefore the, okay yes Titans are meant to be a tank but this is ridiculous you can see how many thousand DPS shots are landing on this and the shields are barely even moving like this is just borderline ridiculous um, like the shields don't even go down less than they don't even lose 25 percent of it so yeah this configuration that I've used well and now he's just going to squeeze in through the mines again just to get a bit closer and even still even with that he just squeezes through doesn't even he judges that well which is good and once again he's down and just squeezes through the gaps like I say he's just not even bothering about trying to avoid any shots with the Ajax he's lost about 50% of his actual base health on that well, meanwhile I've lost three quarters of my effective bridge of my effective base and yeah drones doing nothing um, and drones doing nothing turrets all doing nothing can't see much benefit in any of these base upgrades now my problem is no one say this is basically my base is basically wiped out again now my problem is is that this virtual identical layout of mine or actually contents of the base is identical to a level 70 base or what could be on a level 70 base and I'm level 90 so therefore there's your discrepancy level 70 it's protected can't be hit by this you're lucky to be able to use an elite the best I can think of is one mark two or three gargoyle or maybe or, or a plexus you can't attack a ba the bases that are basically less than 80 are now basically invulnerable because the tier tier 7 ships umbra or plexus or pharmacon or altarian can't compete against the volume of dps that the bases are now putting out um, but tier 8 will shit all over it and this is your problem uh, so hopefully Kixai, and this is all comes from people using Exophase tech on their base from two to three years ago, which was at the time a, the best shielding you could put on your base. But now it's now come to bite you in the ass because a level three blight, shoot, blight field is 12,000 EXP and a level 3 exophase shield is 690,000 EXP so until they balance that out if your bases are level 85 or lower you're safe as a house you'll be un you'll be unbeatable you can just go around and collect as many medals as you want from any level 90 base as long as you can build a couple of these ships um, and if not bad luck um, if you're level 80, 88 or higher you're screwed because you can get hit by a 102 103 or a 104 or if you happen to be 92 level you can get it by about a 106 so good luck and thanks for watching